Good morning. Welcome back here to Huntsville Park Baptist Church. I guess you see I've got a little different glasses on today. I left my other glasses at home today, so I'd get me some uh, cheap uh, reading glasses, but we'll make do today. Uh, today's lesson will be in Proverbs chapter 2, and we're going to be looking at grow in knowledge. It's important that we grow in our knowledge, that we don't just get stagnant and uh, just be content. I think we all need to grow in knowledge. With that in mind, let us uh, go to the Lord in prayer before we begin today and ask God's blessings upon you and your family and uh, God's goodness in our life. Let us pray together. For Lord, we're so thankful for your love and kindness. We're so thankful that uh, we have your word. We're so thankful for your spirit uh, that's with us every moment of the day. And I pray, Lord, as we open your word, that your word inspire us, that your word gives us more and more knowledge to be able to make our way through the paths of this earth and the paths of this life. In Jesus' name we pray and ask, amen. Knowledge is so very, very important. If I had a choice to be able to give one of my children or my grandchildren uh, money or knowledge, uh, it's a no-brainer. Uh, knowledge is something that can go with us uh, for the rest of our lives. Knowledge can help us with all things in life. Money, they come and go. Uh, it becomes more and more obvious to me as I, uh, a birthday rolls around and maybe you give a grandkid uh, uh, some money, uh, you think about how long that money is going to last them. Uh, when you give them a little bit, they can go buy a little toy or something or other within a, uh, before the sun goes down, they've done tore the toy up. I mean, so it, Money is not the greatest thing or the greatest gift of all. God's word makes it plain how good knowledge is, and we need to grow in knowledge. Here in Proverbs chapter two, he says, my son, if thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou inclinest thine ear unto wisdom and apply thine heart to understanding. Yea, if thou criest after knowledge, and lifteth up thy voice for understanding. If you, if thou seekest her as silver, and searchest for her as for a hidden treasure, isn't it amazing how uh, people get excited about money, uh, worldly treasures? We need to get that excited about knowledge, true knowledge, knowledge that that's eternal, uh, knowledge that's everlasting. Uh, knowledge that is true. Now, there's a lot of uh, lies out there, but God gives the truth. Satan, that's of this world, uh, gives lies, a, a artificial truth. But the greatest thing in this world that we have, that we can uh, strive for and we should be hungry for, is knowledge. It, I don't understand why people don't want to get in God's Word, why they don't want to come and listen to God's Word and soak up that knowledge because how valuable knowledge is. If, if I were to say that there, there's gold in the ground, all you gotta do is come and uh, dig it up and, 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 and sift through the dirt, you'll find gold. I mean, there'd be people everywhere coming seeking after gold. But we have something more valuable than gold. We have knowledge. And we should seek after knowledge, just as people would seek after silver and riches. Said, then, said thou, uh, then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and find knowledge of God. You may ask the question why people do not fear God. The lack of knowledge. Why does people uh, not reverence God? Lack of knowledge. Why does people behave the way they do? Lack of knowledge. It's important that we hunger for knowledge. It says in verse 6, For the Lord giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. Oh, isn't it wonderful uh, when we get more knowledge about who God is. I'm going to talk a few, uh, for just a moment, a few quick things about knowledge. 2 Timothy 1, 12 says, For uh, the which cause I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed. For I know, I know whom I have believed, and, and, and I am persuaded 
that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. It, it's good here as he tells us in his word how the author is saying, for I know, I know. Our knowledge comes from knowledge, comes from, from God. One thing I know, but before he came, before I received him, before he shed his blood for me and I received that, I was a sinner. I, I was a child of the devil. We know who we were before Jesus saved us. I was a child of the devil. According to John 8, 44, it says, You are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. That's what the world does. Because we are born sinners. We're children of the devil. And we perform those acts. But Jesus came and, and died for us. Put us on a path of righteousness. We need knowledge. I know I was a child of the devil. I was lost on my way to hell. Romans 3, 23 says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 6, uh, 23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. It's knowledge to know where we were and where we are now. We are God's children. We need to continue to soak up that knowledge. To get who we are today, it took knowledge of Jesus Christ. It took knowledge of who we used to be and, and who we are now. But even to continue our journey, we must continue to be seeking out God's word. It tells us also, we all know what we are now. We're God's children. We've been born again. We're strangers in a foreign land. And we realize that Satan is going to try to be in our way. But he is our shield. He tells us here in Proverbs 2, uh, 2, 7. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walketh upright. He is my shield. He protects me. It's important to have that knowledge. The more I get into God's word, I realize these things can't harm me. I'm protected. He said, he keepeth the path of, the, uh, uh, of judgment and preserveth the way of the saints. He paves the way. He gives us directions. He is our guide in this life. We need understanding. And we get it from God's word. If I were to, go to make a trip, one of the first things I do, I try to map out the direction I'm going to go have a pretty good idea and even on the journey I refer to that uh, map or, or the GPS or the things that I'm going to use to get to where I'm going and the more confidence that I have the more joyful that trip is but we can have anxiety or we can have worries when we're not sure but God's word gives us wisdom he continues in verse 9 and said, Then shall thou understand righteousness. You'll understand it. You'll understand judgment. You'll understand iniquity. And every good path will know. When wisdom entereth into thine heart, and knowledge is pleasant unto, the, uh, unto your soul. Discretion. People learn through knowledge to be discreet, to make good decisions. So many people today are making poor decisions because of the lack of knowledge. God's word is to deliver thee from the way of the evil man, from the man that speaketh forwardness. Those that try to lead us in the wrong way, who leaves the paths of uh, uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness. Folks, I have no desire to walk in the ways of darkness. I, I want to walk in the path. I want you to walk in the path that has the knowledge of the great of ways to go. Reminds me of a little story of a couple of people out uh, fishing. An old guy says, I, I left something at, uh, in the uh, truck. I'm gonna go get it. And they're out in the boat out there on this pond. 
And, and the guy steps over the side, walks out on, over the water and walks to his boat uh, car and gets what he's wanting to get and walks back, gets back in the boat. And the guy looked at him and thought, that guy can walk on water. Well, if he can walk on water, I, I can walk on water too. So he steps over the side of the boat and bloop, right under the water he goes. And he's fighting and finally pulls himself back up in the boat. And he says, how can you walk on the water and I can't? He says, I know where the stumps are. So I think it's important to have knowledge in this whole world. And I think we get it from God's word. And I think the more knowledge we have, the more confidence that we're going to have, the more peace that we're going to have, the more protection we're going to have, knowing that we have good knowledge. So I encourage us to get in God's word. Not only for us to get into God's word, but share it to our children. Share it to our grandchildren, to those people around. Share the word of God. Share the knowledge because it's valuable. We have more than enough to share with those around us. Let's cling to God's word and grow. Grow in his knowledge. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we're so thankful for the knowledge that we already have. And I pray, Lord, that we cling to that knowledge. And I pray, Lord, that we continue to grow in that knowledge and to be able to make our way through this life in which we live. In Jesus' name, we pray and ask. Amen.